Oh my god, look at this freaking stick drift, bro. Much better. Yo, what's up? So, every time I'm in stream, not every time, but most of the time I'm in stream, I always get this question asked, like, how to fix your stick drift. And, like, I made a video about it, but I think that one didn't really explain it too well, so, uh, I'm gonna explain this video way more better. Just put it on 10. Put your um, dead zone at zero and check if it moves. If it moves, that means your stick is very bad. Um, so yeah, as soon as you do that, then go to zero response curve real quick and zero dead zone. And this is how you will find your dead zone. Um, your dead zone if you have stick drift. And then use this. Don't use your arrows. Use the little circle thing and move it to one. If you still get stick drift. Go back, move it to one, one more. If it still gets stick drift, move it to three. It will be a little bit hard, but three. And if you don't get stick drift anymore, um, or you're standing still and you don't think you get stick drift, shake your controller a little and let it go. And then, and then if it doesn't move, then yeah. Uh, you can also tap, just tap your stick, just tap it lightly, and if it doesn't move anymore, then you have found your dead zone for linear. Alright, then you will go back, and you will put it back at the dead zone that you were um, at, back to the dead zone, I mean the response curve you were at. And then you're done. That's basically all. That's how, that's how you fix your stick drift on Apex Legends. Um, you just go to linear and you just tune it to whatever you can. And then you should be able to play on anything. Um, I don't play on classic, but I will be making a settings video on my settings. And then I will be making a settings video on um, classic use for classic users. Because I know classic users really can't be playing on linear because they're just used to the input. So... It's just too hard. But yeah. I play on 3, 4, 3. And I mean like I think 3 is like the best um response curve. But yeah, if you want to get into linear, then um I will be making a video on how to make the change to linear smoothly and not cause you too much stress. Uh but yeah, other than that, tell me if you, this video helped you for your stick drift. And if it didn't, and if you still get stick drift with like the max, which is like 30, I think, 50, then, um, then yeah, your controller definitely has a problem, and you should not be like even playing on 50. Like, I can't even, I can't play with 50 dead zone. It's literally impossible to be good with 50 dead zone. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and if you play on, um, on classic and you have your thing on 10 right or if you have it on like 8 you can put your auto threshold on 4 and then if you have it on 10 you can put it on 5 what this does is it basically is the op how do you say it's the opposite of dead zone my bad but yeah this will basically help you um you know it will feel a little more faster and stuff and then yeah, uh, other than that, peace.